Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 Acon play review and today guys we're going to be reviewing the 87 rated English base icon Gary Lineker, absolutely insane to be able to have this guy in the club. Um, it'll just be the one icon review for today. EA didn't give us anything on the Monday, which is as expected. Maybe tomorrow they might give us on a Tuesday with the Champions League starting tomorrow. They might give us, hopefully, lots of Champions League themed content, marquee matchups, maybe a few of those like rare UCL player packs, maybe a UCL themed SBC. That would be kind of cool, like a UCL flashback SBC. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, but maybe I'm just getting too overexcited. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, if they give us a lot tomorrow, there might not be an icon review tomorrow, but um, at least we've got one today up on the channel. So yes, Gary Lineker. I did, uh, or he did cost me 328,000 coins in the three games that I did play with. He did score me six goals and he got me one assist. All those uh, games were played in Division 2 foot rivals. Moving along uh, into his in-game stats, his main still stats will be his 94 positioning, his 92 finishing, as well as his 93 reactions, and finally his 85 ball control. I should also mention that he does have uh, three star skills as well as four star weak foot. I did have the Hunter cam stat applied to him. Getting into his player trait, uh, unfortunately it's not traits, it's just a single trait, uh, and that is the team player. And then getting into icon profile, this is during his time at Spurs. So towards the back end of his career, he go he joined Spurs in the 1989 season after three years of Barcelona. In his first season, Spurs uh, finished first in what was known back then as the old first division. Uh, he scored 24 goals in that campaign. And the following season, they won the FA Cup. Uh, against Nottingham Forest in the final. And um, this is a very interesting card. I mean, he's one of the more kind of cheaper, affordable uh, icon strikers. The only ones that are cheaper than him are 85 and Zaghi, 86 uh, Van Nistelrooy. I think maybe the 86 Vieira might be a little bit cheaper. Trezeguet might be around about the same price, one of his cards. But um, he's good in game. I I'm kind of surprised at how... I mean, listen, obviously, 328,000 coins, you know, it's cheap in, in terms of an icon, but actually 320,000 coins on the whole is actually a lot of, you know, it, 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 it's a lot of coins. We, you know, we all know that, but obviously in terms of the icon uh, market, he is certainly towards the lower end. And uh, and I'm surprised he's not worth more, to be quite honest, because I thought he was really, really good. So in terms of value for money, I think he's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, in Division 2, uh, he was just superb. He scored two goals in every single game that uh, that I did use him with, and uh, he was absolutely brilliant. I mean, you know, for me, it's first probably his finishing. His finishing stats are absolutely top class, and they get better with our Hunter Cam style as well. He's got 94 position which goes up to 98 his finishing goes from 92 to 99 fantastic to have a, a an 87 Gary Lineker that can get yourself quite easily up to 99 finishing it whilst having other really good shooting stats is, is absolutely fantastic uh so yeah his shot power is at 84 that goes up to 88 his volleys go to 99 his penalties go into the mid 90s his long shots remain at 82 which is fine uh he's got four star weak foot which is very good so so yeah he you know his finishing is absolutely top class couldn't fault that whatsoever and also his dribbling of thought was very solid i mean his dribbling stats look fairly average in terms of his balance his agility he actually only has 77 dribbling but he does have 80 compared 85 ball control, 93 reactions, uh, and his dribbling in game actually was really, really good. I mean, the Hunter Cam stat, as we know, doesn't actually increase any of his dribbling stats, but he fought really smooth in game. Uh, he, he was able to take on opposition players by using his dribbling. The fake shots, again, oh my god, the fake shot is so effective in this game. Like, oh my, it's just absolutely insane. There was two goals uh, where he takes it around the goalkeeper, which was just so cheeky, but um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. It just showed the confidence, and I think as well, to be able to do that, you know, it, it was helped by how good his composure stats is as well. He, he's clinical... Uh, uh, on goal, I think there was one chance where he should have, he should have done better where the goalkeeper um, just like passes it out to one of the opposition defenders. I intercept it, and I was kind of in two minds what to do with Lineker, and I think he hits it on his left foot, and I, I should have. I should have done better with that chance. I think I just kind of panicked because I never expected to be able to intercept the ball with him. Uh, you'll see the highlights towards the back end of the video, I think. But uh, on the whole, he's great. I mean, his finishing and his dribbling, I sent his main set of stats. I, I thought his passing was was okay. I didn't think it was, you know, anything, um, you know, out of this world. But 72 division, 78 short passing. He can link up relatively well with the attackers. But like his passing, it's nothing like out of this world. You should only ever use him as a striker and no other position. Not out, not on the wing, not on a cam, not a centre forward. Just a pure striker position is where this card should be used. His pace was okay. Uh, again, when the Hunter Camp says his, pa his pace starts going to the mid-90s, similar to Suka uh, in terms of his pace. He's not, like, amazingly quick. You know, he can burst past opposition players, but um, he, he felt like he had... 
like AC4, AC5 pace. It didn't feel like the Hunter camps that was actually giving him any benefits. But uh, on the whole, he was a solid card. Um, I think he, he compared to the likes of Van Nistelrooy uh, and Closer, and um, who have reviewed as some other kind of cheap icon strikers. Whilst uh, they were very, very good to use, I think Lineker on the whole probably does offer more. I think he's probably a more enjoyable card to use compared to the two. The other two are a very different style of players compared to Lineker. Although they play the same position, the, 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 the very, very difference in how... You have to use them. You use closer and, and Van Nistelrooy as, as target players. You don't do that with Lineker. With Lineker, you can kind of run head on with the opposition. You can't really do that with closer and, and Van Nistelrooy. But so for what he goes for on the market, I think he's a really, really good player. And I think he represents good value for money, in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.